So YouTube. So I guess this is part two um, of the series I just started about Judaism and Christianity, religion in general, basically is what I should have entitled it. Um, I thought I made it pretty clear in that video that I'm not really interested in the debate because to me the debate is fabricated for whatever the reason I guess I should address um, someone decided that I was speaking a lot of foolishness and decided to have someone respond to me <laughs> guess I should feel special um, apparently they couldn't do it themselves that's unfortunate but speaking of the response, this is not a video response to the response so we can keep the debate going because with all due respect, I'm not really interested. Um, I pointed out some things I noticed and I received a seven video response from actually one of the people I had been noticing, even though I didn't uh, state any names or I just said I was noticing some things. Interesting. Um, I'll get to that, I suppose, in the next video. But uh, to the response video, I didn't watch the whole thing. Seven videos is a bit extensive for my little seven or eight minutes of just speaking my mind. I'm not one of those people who believes that if you talk a whole bunch, that means you're smart. I just believe you probably might like to hear yourself talk. In any event, there are some very poignant reasons I just... I'm no longer interested in religion, aside from the fact that, you know, the Most High didn't start a religion, yet some people claim preeminence um, and their precepts, you know, for those who are searching for truth is supposed to be the way to go. And I disagree. I thought, again, I was pretty fair in my category, uh, well, I should say my, my comparing the religions. Um, I didn't just attack one or the other. I think they're all kind of similar in a way. But a point was, I guess you'd call it a point, was made in the first video of the seven that in Judaism, they don't argue about Yehoshua because um, he's just to them like a gnat or a nuisance, which to me, doesn't say much because, again, regardless of how you feel about him, whether he's a gnat, a nuisance, you know, a, an elephant, whatever you feel about him, you don't like him, and that includes his message. Therefore, my original thesis still stands. But the one thing I will get to is um, I got a comment on that video from a person of African descent about uh, the oral law and of course when I got the comment I kind of just shook my head um, it's not up to me to judge people but I think some people run off in directions without doing their homework if you're going to start a career with a company the intelligent thing to do is to research the company just say you're a very attractive candidate and more than one company wants to hire you uh, you're going to look at all those companies and you're going to see which one is the best fit for you based on your experience. How does that relate to what we're talking about here? Well, as people of African descent, we have had our own experience here in this country. And a lot of that, unfortunately, has to do with uh, slavery. A lot of it has to do with racism. So, of course, in my reviewing religions, I want to see how those things play into these religions. And once again, both of these diametrically supposedly opposed religions both came together again to sing Kumbaya and to foment the Hermetic Curse. Now, um, people need to read Guide to the Perplexed by Maimonides. They need to see what he thought of people of African descent. And actually, to paraphrase him, we are uh, just a little smarter than monkeys. This is the progenitor of the Babylonian Talmud, by the way. Um, 
So when I see people of African descent running and jumping over there, um, even though you say, I don't believe in that, you know, you go from Paul to Yehoshua to, I don't believe in Yehoshua to um, y'all alone. And this goes for some other people who aren't of African descent who have been harassing me in my inbox <clears throat> this whole y'all alone. But now you're singing the praises of different rabbis in the Mishnah. So much for y'all alone. You are following the precepts of men, and that's something I am vehemently opposed to in any religion. Now, I can't just pick on Judaism because the Christians of that era helped to foment this particular curse. And I can't leave Islam out. I have to bring them in because the Africans in Africa um, only converted to Islam to be protected from the Roman Empire. And while they were protected from the Roman Empire, the Muslims in turn enslaved them. So when it comes to organized religion and us, it hasn't worked out so well. But again, uh, these two supposedly diametrically opposed religions join hands to do something that is bad. And I see that as a pattern. If uh, I want an orange, not going to go to an apple tree. If I want a grape, not going to go to a cherry tree. If I want the path to righteousness, I'm not going to go to a tree that has produced corrupt fruit. It's just not going to happen. And for those of you who are like me and have noticed, like I said, this weird sort of pseudo search for truth group of people who claim, oh, I was a Christian and now I'm looking for truth. And, you know, they go through these phases where it starts with Paul, then they go to Yehoshua, and then they stop for about a week and go, well, I'm having trouble with Yehoshua right now. Then they disappear for a week and come back with their coming out video. I've seen that term used. It's all kind of a farce. And perhaps, just maybe, wisdom is the principal thing. And maybe, true wisdom comes from the Most High. And again, not from precepts of men. Shalom.